Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Everett, Command Sergeant Major Thomas, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Ortiz, Command Sergeant Major Lara, families and friends. Welcome to the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence graduation ceremony for the Army's Master Leaders course, Distributed Learning. I am Master Sergeant Sierra Nelson, and I will be the narrator for today's ceremony. At this time, the invocation will be given by Chaplain Joseph Salem, followed by the playing of the National Anthem. Let us pray. Almighty God, we welcome your presence in our ceremony today as we honor these esteemed graduates of the Master Leader Course. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they've gained, for they now go forth to further strengthen our military's backbone as they lead the way in the cause of freedom in increasingly complex global operating environments. God grant each graduate wisdom to apply themselves to the challenges ahead. May they rise boldly to lead with professionalism and honor. May they be passionate stewards of our Army's people-first vocation. And Lord, we thank you for our dedicated MLC instructors and staff who have worked so diligently to lay a strong foundation for excellence ahead. Finally, Lord, we ask for your protection and strength for all present here, for our invaluable military families, and especially those in harm's way this very day. We pray all these things in your mighty name. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting. flag was still there. Who say does that star-spangled banner yet away? Oh, the land of the free and the whole The Master Leaders course was developed to prepare selected senior non-commissioned officers for positions of greater responsibility throughout the Department of Defense. The aim of the course is to further develop the professional skills and competencies required of Master Sergeants in the 21st century. This is accomplished in a rigorous learning environment where the program is designed to test each student on all important aspects of performance for the increased leadership and management responsibilities required of all senior non-commissioned officers. These graduates have completed a demanding six-week course in an asynchronous online learning environment that focuses on topics such as leadership, operations management, joint operations, and communications that assist in preparing them to transition from a tactical leader to an operational leader. This course of study will enhance their professional abilities as senior non-commissioned officers and additionally, they will assist the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence and the Army as we formalize this important gateway of NCO progression and education. It is my pleasure to introduce the Chief of Master Leader Course, Sergeant Major Soraya Bacchus. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to recognize the facilitators of the Master Leaders Course. Master Sergeant Santos Lainez, Master Sergeant Daniel Britt, Master Sergeant Jeremiah Rogers, Master Sergeant Coy Hartman, Master Sergeant Sierra Nelson, Master Sergeant Cherie Mayon, Master Sergeant James Rashley, Mr. Patrick Quirk, Mr. Frederick Love, and Mr. Ramon Inseriaga. Congratulations on a job well done and for the mentorship and guidance you continue to provide your students. Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Everett, Command Sergeant Major Thomas, Mr. McKinney, 
Mr. Ortiz, Command Sergeant Major Lara, family, friends, and our students. Welcome to today's graduation ceremony for our Master Leaders Distributed Learning Course. Congratulations on successfully completing the Master Leader course. I know the past six weeks have been challenging and demanding as you were faced with balancing your everyday duties and responsibilities of family life, daily jobs, and completing all course requirements in a timely manner. But you've accepted the challenge willingly. You remain focused, never losing sight of the finish line. Now here we are, at the finish line, of a job well done. You endured the challenges of the digital world and an online community that can sometimes make you feel a bit disconnected from the real world, but you adapted and you endured. Today, I encourage you to continue to be that adaptive and agile leader wherever you are planted. Introduce the knowledge you've gained here at MLC in your soldiers and at your units. Graduating means you now have more tools in your toolkit to lead them to fight and win in today's complex operational environment. It is now my honor to introduce our guest speaker for today's ceremony. Good morning, distinguished guests, family members, and graduates of MLC Class 008-23. It is an honor to share a few words with you this morning. As always, I will ensure to keep the three B's in mind. Be brief, be great, and be gone, as I know I am the final gate to mission completion. I want to start off by saying congratulations on your achievement of completing the Master Leader course. I want you to take the knowledge and experiences learned from this course and apply them to your daily lives. When I was in your position, I did not necessarily know where I would fit in as a master sergeant or a first sergeant exactly, because many of my mentors told me, you just have to dive all in and get your feet wet. You will figure it out. Any scenario I could play in my head, they would say all circumstances are different and each soldier has a unique situation, Arius. You are just going to have to react to contact and move to friction. Today, I hope to give you a small piece of where you fit in as you go back to your units. To start, TC 7-22.7 defines the roles and responsibilities of the first sergeant as the following. The first sergeant is the senior enlisted advisor to the commander at the company, troop, battery level. First sergeants are responsible for maintaining and enforcing standards, ensuring training objectives are met, developing the soldiers in the unit, all administrative functions, and ensuring the health, welfare, and morale of the unit and their families. The first sergeant serves as a coordinator for training and resources, as well as the lead integrator with outside organizations and entities. The first sergeant is the standard bearer for their organization and serves as a role model for all soldiers, NCOs, and officers. And the TC defines the roles and responsibilities of the master sergeant as, the master sergeant serves as a key enlisted member of staff elements at battalion or higher levels. Although not charged with leadership responsibilities equal to that of a first sergeant, the master sergeant's level of experience makes them an invaluable member of the staff for input on policy development, training development, and ensuring standards and discipline within the organization. So here is where you fit in. You have a voice, whether it is a first sergeant or a master sergeant. You have a voice and you, nine times out of 10, have more time in the Army than your counterpart. Therefore, not only your voice, but your expertise is critical to mission success. Your next role, no matter how you serve it in the E-8 capacity, will be served as a sen senior enlisted advisor, either to your commander or as part of a staff. I can think back to my days on staff and showing up to staff sinks and not seeing one NCO at the table for the discussion. I thought, how is this possible that we do not have a seat at the table? After I observed the meeting, I pull all the NCOICs across the brigade staff together and ensured it never happened again. You see, it was not that we did not have a seat at the meeting, it was senior NCOs learn, learning their place on the staff. Oftentimes, as a Sergeant First Class or Master Sergeant, it is the first time that some of us find ourselves on staff. So while you are on staff, I challenge you to be present, be engaged, 
Share your knowledge with the officers, NCOs, and soldiers while there, and provide sound advice to your commander, no matter the echelon, because your voice matters. Now, some of you are going to fill the role of a first sergeant or already filling that job. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed your small vacation away from the company because I am certain there are 20 actions on your desk and issues for you that they have been waiting on you to get back for. But the thing your company missed most or will need most from you in the future is your voice. Whether it's giving advice to young soldiers, advising the commander, or bringing up better ways to get after operations, you will shape young soldiers. And the way that you raise them, train them, and are there for them will set up this army for future success. So today, ensure that your choices are heard, your voices are heard, and that you are thinking up and out and not in and down. Always move to friction and constantly react to contact. I hope I was brief so that we can be gone and you all can continue to be great. Sergeant Major Bacchus, thank you, Battle, for allowing me the pleasure to speak to these fine non-commissioned officers. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for viewing today's virtual ceremony. Congratulations again to the graduates of the Army's Master Leader Course Distributing Learning Class. This concludes today's graduation ceremony.